60 years ago, Britain was home to the greatest show on earth. Every September, thousands of people would flock to Farnborough in Hampshire and spend the day gazing skyward. What they saw, scorching through the air, were astonishing machines flying at incredible speeds and all powered by what seemed to be a technology from the future. That technology was a British invention and it would signal the dawn of a new age, the jet age. The noise and the speed, I mean, for a small boy, heaven, absolute heaven. Britain had a world-class, world-beating aviation industry. Those crowds at Farnborough weren't just plane spotting. They believed they were looking at their country's future. <laughs> the jet age was expanding at almost an alarming rate. It was a very exciting time. You could climb up 4,000 feet a minute happily. You could dive down at six, 8,000 feet a minute. Within minutes, you were 50 miles away or 100 miles away from your base. It was suddenly a new world. The jet engine was a lucrative export, and wartime allies were queuing up to buy it. It was also a powerful piece of military hardware. And in the Cold War, old friends were now enemies. Britain now faced a huge dilemma. The jet engine held out hope for economic revival for a nation bankrupt by war. But selling it could alter the balance of power in the new world order. The country had to decide how best to exploit this new expertise. Knowing the wrong choice could prove disastrous. In August 1945, for the first time in human history, civilization stood vulnerable to total annihilation. In an instant, the accepted conventions of warfare were brushed aside. The modern battlefield would now be 50,000 feet above us, and death would travel these new frontiers on the wings of a jet bomber. As Britain prepared for peace, the country was thrown into a different kind of conflict, one that forced the nation to learn a new language of war. As soon as we'd be called upon to be used, it was nuclear war, the Third World War, nuclear. One bomb was approximately equivalent to all the bombs dropped by the Allies on Germany in World War II. Our mission was a one-way ride, and you were going to blow up the world. <laughs> 